Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skidviz. In this super short video, I'm just going to show you how to add video to your project so that you can uh, make little tutorials and stuff inside of your game uh, or application. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. But first, make sure to like and subscribe so that I can keep making these videos. Now, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so here we are in an empty Unity project. Uh, I've added a plane that I've also added a texture or a material to to make it green. I've added the VRIF XR rig so that uh, we could walk around the map uh, as small as it is. And so uh, the next thing I want to do is add a plane, another plane. So I'll just drop that in here and move it over here so we can see it better. And in here, uh, we want to do a couple things. So we'll go to the materials and well, wherever you want really, but I'm going to do it in here and we're going to create a new render texture. And what that does is it allows us to project things onto this texture. Uh, so I will just call this screen. Why not? Mm -hmm. And then from here, uh, I will apply that texture to that second plane. So I'll just drag that onto that one. And if we go look at it, uh, we'll see that it has that screen plane. So um, the next thing we we'll want to do is add a component to this plane called video player. So I'll just search for a video and it should come up and there's video player. Now by default, when you put it on a plane, it's going to set the render mode to material override. You can do it that way, or you can pick that render texture that we just created and use that. Uh, and if you go this way, you can do it on, uh, this is how you would do it if you were using a canvas. Uh, so now we've got the render texture set up on this plane and we have it uh, using that render texture that we created. So the next thing you got to do is pick the video, right? So uh, I'll go ahead and import a video that's on my desktop called Arrows, a friend of mine made for me. Um, and so we'll leave all this as it is. Go to the plane and pull that video in, arrows. Uh, then we get to set whether we want it to loop or not. I'm gonna set it to loop because it's a short video. And whether it plays on awake. So we're just gonna leave all that as it is. We'll go back to the, uh, to the render texture and it has a size of 256 by 256. Uh, if I were to play the video now, it would look really pixelated and blurry because 256 by 256 is super small. Um, so I'm just gonna go with uh, standard resolution. I think it's like 1280 by 720 for this particular video. Um, I think it's actually smaller than that, but this will work for our plans. So now we'll take this plane and just uh, kind of mess with it to get it to look where we want it to look, right? So we probably want it up here. So I'll just go negative 90. Um, this plane has a square aspect ratio, which I don't want. So I'll we'll probably make it 1.5 wide. Um, that should give us a better aspect. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna bring it closer so we can actually uh, play with it. That's way too big. So let's change this to 0.15 and then change this to 0.5, no, point 0.1. Where is that? Where does that bring us? That's too small now. So let's make this three and this 0.15, maybe. Okay, I got it, I got it. Five and three. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll uh, bring that closer here to the middle. 
And so in essence, when I test this, let me make sure there's nothing else missing. Nope. Uh, so when I test this, it should start off facing that video. The back is empty, so you know you're facing the right way. So let's go ahead and try this out real quick and see what happens. Okay. Well, it worked, um, but the video is upside down. So <laughs> we'll just go ahead and flip that over. All right, so 90 and 180, there we go. Now we're facing the right way. And if we play the video, it should play perfectly. There you go. So you can uh, go ahead and pull up a chair and watch your favorite movie on the big screen or you can walk up to it, and touch it, and tickle it. And that's how you do video. And there you have it, quick and easy as promised. Uh, this is, like I said, it's very useful if you want to make little tutorials inside your games. Uh, or any other kind of effect where you have like a computer screen or something that's doing something. Uh, so pretty simple, pretty quick. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep making them. Until next time, I'm still Skid Viz. Peace out.